everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my November fabric haul. Now I didn't buy too much fabric in November, I was trying to not buy too much because I really want to sew through some of the fabrics in my stash because I've got some beautiful fabrics there that I really want to sew up. So I didn't buy too many things but I absolutely love the things that I bought and I thought that I would show you them. So the first piece of fabric I bought from a company called Hey Sew Sister. Now this is a new fabric shop that opened only a few weeks ago now and they showed this fabric on their Instagram and I absolutely fell in love with it and so I knew that I had to buy it. So the fabric that I got was this. So this is a beautiful cotton jersey and it's got a navy background and these rainbow colours and actually I really love the way the rainbow colours go together. Sometimes when I see rainbows on things, I don't quite like the tones of colours they've chosen for the rainbow. So I absolutely love this design and it's a really lovely weight cotton jersey. It's going to be perfect for a t-shirt for me. I guess you could also make like a t-shirt dress, but I'm going to make a t-shirt and then hopefully I'm going to have enough left over to make like a scrappy t-shirt as well. Now this, I'm not decided entirely what pattern I'm going to use yet. I'm potentially thinking of the molly top by Sew Over It because then I don't have to join on the sleeves. Or maybe just go for a plantain tee by Deer and Doe. Or I am wondering, I am really tempted by the Hey June Union Street tee. It's been recommended as a really lovely t-shirt. And it also has a v-neck option. So I'm tempted by that one as well, which is a pattern I don't own, but I would like to try. And I will make it into something absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to get that sewn up and get wearing that lovely t-shirt. I think it's going to look cool. And I think it will make me feel quite happy as well because of the beautiful bright rainbow colours. Next up, we've got a few fabrics from Lamazi Fabrics. Now, I was going on their website, I think, to check a link for a fabric for a video. And I saw that they had updated and they had a lot more of the modal and tensile, really beautifully soft jerseys, like viscose jerseys. And I thought, oh, I have to just get them now because they're going to sell out probably quite quickly. And I love the quality of that fabric and I would love to make some tops and dresses out of it. So I wanted to kind of snap that up. So I bought a few different choices and I'll just go through and show you them. So this is the first one. So it's a very, very dark navy background. And then it's got little kind of splodges of green and red and peach. So you've got those few different colours there. Now, this is lovely and drapey. But for a viscose kind of jersey, it's not too stretchy. It'll be a really lovely weight to sew with. And I think it's got a cute pattern. And I can match lots of my cardigans with it. That's why I like it when it has like multiple colours. But I think I'm going to make this one into a dress. I'm wondering about revisiting the Mayfair dress by Nina Lee because I haven't made that pattern in a little while and I've actually only ever made one. So I want to just adjust the pattern, make sure that it's right and then I'll sew it up in this. And I think that'll be a really cute dress and I'll probably end up wearing it to work but I'm quite happy with that because it'll mean that I can match all my cardigans. <laughs> Next up we've got this one, now this is beautifully soft, they all are actually, and this is a sage green background with the little ditzy flower print. Again, it's got beautiful drape but it's still a good weight to sew with, so it's not too fine a weight, definitely not see-through, beautiful drape there like that. And I'm going to make a long sleeved plantain tee out of this. So I'm trying to make some looser fitting t-shirts to add to my wardrobe just because, uh, just given the current situation with me isolating and then with a second operation and then I'm kind of staying in bed because I'm quite tired. I am feeling that I want to wear a few looser fit t-shirts rather than some of the tighter fit t-shirts that I own. And so I do want to sew a few more up because I am wearing them on a daily basis and I would like to have some nice comfy clothes to wear. But still that are in cute fabrics. So that's that one, that one's going to become a plantain tee. I think that will look really cute and I will get a lot of wear out of it. Next up we've got a cotton jersey and I'm so glad that I got a piece of this. So I think it was on uh, La Masi Fabrics website before but then it sold out. I really wanted to get some because I love the paint spatters on it. So have a look, it's got green and white 
splatters on a navy background and I just think that there's just a really cute print and this is a cotton jersey and I just got a meter and I'm just thinking a t-shirt out of this I know it seems like I'm making loads and loads of t-shirts but it's what I'm wearing at the moment and I want to kind of make all of these up quite soon I don't know that I will but I really want to <laughs> So again, cute pattern. I did wonder about this for like a pyjama style t-shirt, so I am interested in making some of my own pyjamas. I am kind of wondering how to kind of differentiate my day-to-day t-shirts from pyjama tops, because if I'm making them in beautiful fabrics, then they'll just probably end up being the same. And I'm wondering if I need to go for a few more quirky prints and things for the pyjama t-shirts, or just go kind of super plain. I'm not really sure. Uh, definitely weigh in there. What do you think in terms of differentiating day-to-day -day and pyjama like loungewear tops? So super pleased with that one and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it once I sew it up. I'm not sure on the t-shirt pattern, potentially the plantain tee or if I do buy the Union Street tee by Hey June and that will be a really lovely make. So we've got another tencel jersey here. So again, navy background. This is a darker navy with these beautiful pink flowers and the little gold leaves and it's got beautiful drape again it's so so soft really lovely thickness and a good weight to it not see-through at all just like the other ones as well and again I've bought enough so I can make a dress I'm not entirely sure what dress to make yet I'm uh, toying with the idea of making another t-shirt hack into a dress so I made the Elliot tee by Helen's Closet into a dress and then did a waist tie and actually I've got a lot of wear out of that dress so I am really tempted to make another one of those with this because it's a looser fit dress that cinches in with a waist tie which I think is perfect for me at the moment uh, definitely with my upcoming surgery the kind of medical advice is that you do sometimes put on some weight until your medication is like leveled out and so I want clothes that I'm going to be able to wear and not feel too uncomfortable in and I think this kind of thing is going to work really well so yeah another beautiful fabric there <laughs> And last up, we've got one of the Inspire Viscose jerseys. Now, I've showed you these before. I've bought them in a few colours from Lamazi Fabrics already, and I just went for a plain navy. And I think this one actually is just going to become a long sleeve plantain tee. I know I've been making quite a few of those at the moment, but they just seem the perfect shape for me at the moment. I could make another Elliot tee in this, actually. I've got uh, Elliot tee in this cranberry colour and a teal colour I think it would look really lovely in that as well actually so still undecided on what pattern for this one but beautifully soft fantastically drapey and it's a good weight for sewing with I would definitely recommend if you want a plain viscose jersey these are definitely one to go for from Lamazi and there we have it those are my fabrics for my fabric haul this month I am quite pleased actually that I've narrowed it down. I did uh, add up how much I was spending on fabric for the last few months and it did come out to quite a lot. And although I'm absolutely fine with that because it's a hobby, I love making clothes, and I love making for other people. It's just one of those things that I've got lots of fabric that I haven't sewn and I really want to sew it. And I then want to buy fabrics that I can put into my kind of sewing queue kind of straight away and then get sewn up. I think that's going to be slightly less overwhelming for me overall and that means I can free up some of my fabric storage to pop away some of the other things that are clustering up my studio space here and I can pop everything away and keep it nice and neat because I do want to make a few extra touches to this room but I can't do that until I've put a few things away. <laughs> If you have got any recommendations for t-shirt and top patterns then please comment them down below because I'm always eagerly looking for extra t-shirt patterns with a few extra details. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye!